hi guys you're welcome back to my channel so today i'll be teaching us how to cut a mermaid skirt so this is a basic mermaid skirt pattern there are other types of mermaid skirts mermaid with goddess mermaid with um extended train at the back but this is just basic mermaid skirt and this is the front and um, also this is the back pattern here okay so let's get started now for this tutorial i'll be scaling down the pattern what i what i mean by scaling down i won't be using my um original measurements this is a like a smaller version okay so uh, my pattern paper is on fold and we're starting with the front pattern so um the first step is to draw your waistline okay now the folded part is the center front now you want to draw your waistline like so then the next line to draw is your hip line and like i said i'm doing a scaled down okay so this is my hip line but in reality when you're when you're drafting yours waist to hip line is called hip depth and it's eight inches on the average okay okay so that's that then um after drawing the hip line the next line you want to draw is your, your waist to the knee line you have to measure that on your body okay so i'm just drawing this line as my knee line but in reality you have to measure your waist to your knee line as seen mm -hmm. in the picture here then of course you have the hemline now this hemline is a distance from your waist to the floor okay floor length because usually mermaid skirts are floor length okay So now that you've drawn all the lines, now on the waistline, you're going to mark quarter of your waist circumference. So I'm just, I'll be using four as my quarter of my waist circumference for this tutorial. Then you add one inch to quarter of your waist circumference. You mark it and then extra one inch for side seam allowance. Then on the hip line, you mark quarter of your hip. Okay. So let's say quarter of my hip is six. I'll mark six, then one inch for side seam allowance. Then on the knee line, you subtract one inch from quarter of your hip circumference. Okay, so that's six minus one, that's five. So if quarter of your hip is seven, that would be six on the knee line. Okay, then you add the one inch for same allowance. Then on the hem line, you're going to add twice of the quarter of your hip measurement. So if quarter of your hip is 10, on the hem line, you're going to be having 20. If it's too um, full, you can make it to be one times 1.5 okay instead of 20 to now be 15 okay now you're going to connect all the points together with the same allowance too like i said this is the scaled down size okay so i'm just connecting all the points together like so then i'm blending up all the sharp edges okay so um for the mummy skirt you can use lace fabric, you can use Ankara fabric, you can use crepe. Any nice fabric is cool for this um, style. Okay, so I'm just blending off the curved or let me say the sharp edges here and there. Okay, now next thing is the dart placements. But before we do that, for the hemline, unless you're working with lace fabric, you leave the hemline like this. But you're working with any other kind of fabric, okay? You come up by one inch and then you shape it towards um, the center. You know the midpoint of the hemline like that so you have this curved shape but if you're working with lace fabric that has selvage okay or scallop edge, like some people call it just leave it like that without shaping it now next step is to create the dart so for the dart it's very simple you measure what you have from the center front to the original measurement you fold it into two like that and then you mark half of that on the waistline so i'll just mark half of that and then draw a straight line down now as a general rule your dart should be like three inches away from the hip line okay then you mark half inch on both sides of um that line so this is going to be your front dart okay and then you just shade yeah so that's that about the front then one last thing is to reshape the waistline so from the waistline you're going to come down by one inch and then just shape that way okay so from the center front i came down by one inch okay so i'm going to cut out the front you can see where i came down by one inch on the waistline there okay so i'm just cutting out then 
we are going to use this to cut out the back pattern but for now i'm still going to leave the slanted waistline i'll still leave it down i'll still leave it first okay i want us to cut the back first so this is the slanted waistline but i'll leave it until i cut um the back pattern okay all right so to cut the back you don't need to fold the paper one paper is fine but when you're cutting on fabric you'll be cutting two of that now um, on the pattern paper you're going to measure one inch away from the edge of the paper that is going to be your zipper allowance you can see the one inch okay then you draw your waistline and then you're going to leave some space at the top part there now you place the front pattern on the um line before the zipper allowance like that and then you can now use the front to cut out the back but before we do that, okay, except you're attaching this dress to a body to give you, um, sorry, the skirt to a body to give you a dress. If you're wearing it as a normal skirt, you need to raise the back waistline. So let me just cut out the excess there. So I still have my original waistline before the slanted waistline. I will now place this on the waistline. I want to use the back pattern like this okay so if you're wearing as a regular skirt from the waistline there on the center back where you have the zipper you come up by at least one inch if the person is really you know a plus size with big bum you can do as much as two inches for those with big bum bum so this way your skirts will not appear shorter at the back so i'm just going to connect this back to the center to the side i beg your pardon so basically it's just the center back that we raised up the sides are still the same okay now if you're attaching this to um, a dress you can always reshape the center back line so i'll just trace the hip line like so okay and then i'm going to mark the hip line too on the back like that then i'm going to draw I'm drawing my hip line. Okay, so assuming you're attaching this to a dress, okay, um, you have to reshape the center back line. Okay, okay. So you have to reshape the center back line, okay, by going in on um, the waistline by one inch. Okay, so let me just show like that. But I don't think I want to go into that detail now. This is just basic mermaid skirts. Okay, so. I will just use the front now to um, cut out the back so you can see the zipper allowance there so like i said the front and back are still the same at the side it's just the center back that is a little bit longer so that covers for you know your waistline and then when you sit down you know you're not pulling your skirts trying to cover your panties yeah that's the basic function of raising the, the back waistline okay so now i will be cutting out the back okay so yeah let me cut out so but in if you've enrolled for any of our online classes you notice that we always reshape the center back line to give you that perfect you know shape at the back no zip bulging and all of that okay so if you would like to enroll for any of our online classes i'll be dropping the link in the description box we have lots of online paid classes okay so and definitely you cannot compare it to a youtube tutorial that is more detailed okay now let's come back to our tutorial so um this is the back pattern and the front pattern now the waistline of the back is now slanted and it has to align with the um, dart so same thing I'll measure the waist measurement and the dart together and fold into two like that and then I'll mark the midpoint starting from the line before the zip allowance that way then you don't draw your dart straight like this okay you have to use a pattern master the pattern master has like um a set square it helps you draw a perfect line even if you know and it's perpendicular so you can see now i'm going to draw my that line okay and then for the back it should stop at least two inch before the hip line okay to insert the hip line yeah so i'll mark my half inch on both sides to create the dot lines and then I'm just going to connect like this so you can see that it's super easy very very easy so this is the back and then the front you can see that the back that is slightly um, slanted so this is the green line and I'm cutting two of this for the back piece and my front is cut on fold
now i'm going to trim off the excess on the front to have the um, slanted waistline on the front so the front waistline is reduced while the back waistline is raised up okay so let me open up the front pattern this is what you're going to be having like so and the back so let me place front and back together this is one of the back piece okay so by the time you place it together like that the side seam are the same and then you fold your zipper allowance you will notice that the center back is longer so this accommodates for your um, bone at the back you can see they are equal at the sides just that the back is raised up okay so that brings me to the end of this tutorial so um if this tutorial was helpful you can leave a comment in the comment section yeah and like i said if you would like to enroll for any of our online classes you can check the link in the description box there you can check out our classes and trust me a trial will convince you so thank you so much for your time for listening to me do not forget to subscribe to our channel give this video a thumbs up and share with your loved ones thank you so much bye